uh, okay. you want to start? Yeah. We, are, we are live now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning and uh, thank you for being uh, with us uh, today. We are bringing together Italian SMEs operating in the automotive sector, in particular those manufacturing passenger, commercial and construction vehicles and the representatives of Shriram a Transport Finance Company, which is one of the leading non-banking financial companies uh, uh, operating in this business in India. <clears throat> With this event, um, Italian firms will have the opportunity uh, to understand how Shriram operates, how you can become a supplier of Shriram, and at the same time, Shriram will have a great opportunity to uh, get a, a broader visibility of uh, what Italian supplies can offer and which companies can better satisfy their procurement needs. And we will do this also in the following uh, B2B session. Um, so today's session, we hope to make it as interactive as possible. So uh, please keep in mind that at any moment you can drop a question. Uh, you can use the chat box. You should see a call out uh, button. And uh, so please feel free uh, to send us messages. And at the end of today's uh, session, we will uh, go through these with our uh, um, guests of uh, Shriram. Uh, so um, I will now, now leave the stage to uh, Gautam Bansali. Gautam is the head of our India and uh, South Asia office. And uh, uh, kindly ask uh, Gautam, first of all, to introduce yourself, uh, Mumbai's office, and of course, our special guest for today of Shriram. Gautam, the stage is yours. Thank you, Luca. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, good, good morning. Good afternoon from here, actually, in Mumbai. Um, as part of uh, the Mumbai office of Sache, our main uh, intention is to promote more and more exports from Italy and bring it to this region, which my office in Mumbai covers. Uh, the, the region consists of countries such as India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Myanmar and Maldives. India being one of the largest uh, exposures that Sache has uh, as, as far as this region is concerned. So we've been very active in India working with a lot of companies trying to promote as much of uh, exports from Italy and support small, medium and large exporters such as uh, all of you all that are present on this uh, webinar today and uh, help you uh, not only enter, not only establish, but also grow within the Indian market. Um, I, uh, I am very, very pleased to have uh, Shriram Transport Finance Company with us today. They have a relationship with us. We recently concluded a 125 million US dollar facility, uh, sorry, 125 million euro facility, um, basis which they have agreed to support uh, more and more Italian companies through their leasing and financial activities. Uh, being one of the largest distributors support, I mean, uh, being the largest financiers of uh, commercial vehicles and uh, construction equipment, they would be more than happy to introduce your products to their end user customer base and try and promote as much of business as possible. And me from my Mumbai office will definitely uh, be available along with my colleague Martin, who is currently uh, not there on this call, but he is available as well to support all of you all to make this uh, not only this event, but also you know the, the B2Bs and the next steps that would be required to ensure that actually business happens and there is actual exports taking place not only from Italy, but also from uh, maybe manufacturing hub set up in China, maybe uh, manufacturing setups uh, set up in not even in India and elsewhere across the world. So we are happy to support all the goods that are either made in Italy or even made by Italy. And uh, it, it's, it's a great opportunity to have Shriram here who would uh, as an able partner support us in uh, introducing more and more Italian companies here into this region. So I now leave it to uh, <clears throat> Mr. Umesh Rivankar, who is the CEO of uh, Shriram Transport Finance Company to introduce the company and uh, offer uh, the, the great opportunities that uh, India has to offer through them. Yeah, um, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the uh, introduction. Uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, happy to introduce the company. A company is uh, 
uh, four decades old company into uh, financial services. We are the uh, large lenders uh, for the uh, individuals to buy equipment, tractors, uh, and uh, vehicles. Uh, we started with the vehicles, uh, uh, especially trucks uh, in the southern part of the India. Now we have business across the country with the 1784 branches and uh, uh, nearly 20 million, uh, uh, 2 million customers. Uh, we have uh, 25,000 employees. So um, all our customers, they acquire a vehicle and equipment for making their livelihood. And in India, more than 70% of the vehicles and equipments are owned by individuals uh, as an individual operator or a family operator. So in the smaller towns, uh, urban, uh, semi-urban and rural area, many of these people operate in a small geography. Therefore, we need to be present across the uh, entire country to service these customers. Uh, our uh, the, uh, truck is our main uh, strength. A truck from one ton truck to 49 ton truck, all the variants both used and new but preference is mostly for a uh, used vehicle because our customer being small and individual they buy a second hand vehicle to run the operation within the small geography construction equipment tractor financing passenger vehicle and all of them are uh, 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 purchased for making a livelihood earn out of them and pay back to the company that is the business model uh, we have. So we also uh, deal with uh, uh, many manufacturers uh, in India. And even though we don't have official uh, tie up with any manufacturers, uh, we have a relationship with all manufacturers who manufacture in India. And uh, the strength of the company lies in assessing value of the vehicle and providing uh, credit depending upon the uh, the viability of the uh, business and normal tenor is three to five years so that's our business model so apart from that we also have uh, we are lending to small uh, financiers local financiers are there around 500 private financiers are there and all these private financiers who lend to three wheelers uh, we lend to them three wheelers, two wheelers. They fund, and we lend to them. So that's the uh, about the uh, business model, and uh, uh, the probably as we come across questions, we can answer uh, uh, the uh, questions. And uh, I think that brief introduction must be uh, more than sufficient. Uh, is what I feel. I can answer any specific uh, question. Uh, depending upon the interest of the uh, participant. Um, uh, thank you, Umesh, sir. Just um, uh, you know, for that introduction, uh, I would also take the opportunity to uh, introduce Parag, sir, who is the CFO of the company, and uh, would uh, request him to say a few words and talk about the company a little more as well. You should unmute your microphone, uh, Mr. Sharma. Sorry. Okay. As uh, Sir mentioned, we are present uh, across country. Uh, we have a large customer base and we are catering to all kind of assets. Be it, uh, we started with heavy, but we are focusing on light, small passenger construction equipment uh, and also the two wheelers and uh, three wheelers. So all kind of assets. Uh, which is of any make 
uh, which is in need, we fund. And uh, the collection efficiency of the company has been uh, excellent. We are able to have uh, uh, very good asset quality. And uh, uh, I think in the, on the size side, on the assets, number of assets we have, the value of assets we have, we will be the largest in the country. And uh, we have been accessing uh, the overseas market. So we have large uh, overseas investors base for our uh, liability side. Uh, on the asset side, I think more or less are as covered. Uh, a number of uh, employees is around 26,000. And uh, when we talk about 2 million customer, the equipments or number of assets, what we would have funded will be close to around uh, 4 million. Uh, so I think with this, uh, we can uh, leave it for question and answer. OK, um, let me just then uh, uh, start the discussion. I, um, I, we didn't, um, I mean, just to uh, keep uh, let's say broad scope of conversation. Um, um, we haven't talked yet about uh, the impact of the uh, pandemic on your sector and especially on, let's say, the market for uh, construction equipment. I think uh, countries are uh, facing uh, quite uh, different uh, uh, dynamics. Uh, in Italy, we have been uh, uh, discussing for quite long, hoping to have a so-called V-shaped recovery. We are now moving more towards the double uh, W uh, shaped recovery, uh, still uh, uh, planning about uh, uh, recovery actions. I think it would be good to uh, have a live uh, 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 view on uh, uh, this uh, from you and of course with a, a special eye on uh, the business you work in. Yeah, the, the COVID in India, um, uh, when it uh, started spreading in the month of March, we had a total lockdown in the country for uh, first 21 days. Uh, then lockdown start getting open uh, slowly. But uh, fortunately for us, most of the rural India did not have any COVID impact. Semi-urban area also got relieved of any kind of a COVID impact. And the business in the rural and semi-urban area, once the lockdown was opened, came back to the normalcy within first three months. And the, only the urban centers, there were some challenges, especially because uh, people who traveled abroad came back to India and there the, some spread was witnessed. Uh, but uh, again, the government was quite swift in uh, identifying such uh, uh, people and treating them and isolating them. And that really helped in curbing the uh, the uh, COVID impact. And also, luckily, because now uh, last few days, I'm reading a lot of uh, news saying that, luckily, uh, 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 Indians have some kind of a resistance or better, uh, 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 I should say, uh, antibodies, uh, whether that it was built within themselves or whether they acquired it, we are not sure, but they were able to withstand the COVID impact uh, much, much better. So today, number of fresh COVID coming up uh, the case is very, very uh, insignificant and immediately the isolation is done. So therefore, we are lucky. We are not only we manage well, we are also quite lucky in uh, managing the impact. Uh, our customers who are mostly individuals, they went into business immediately. They did not really keep quiet because business opportunity was large, especially in the rural and semi-urban area. The agri uh, products uh, were bumper in the last year, so people had enough business to carry on. So everything became a normalcy and our customers being individuals and since we were in touch with them because normally we source the customer directly, we know them personally, because of that, we were able to establish contact and build the business back quickly. So last quarter, if you look at, we had managed our NPA numbers very well. In fact, we improved on that because we could contact our customer and uh, uh, ensure that, that they are in the business and they repay their EMIs on time. 
So overall, I should say it's a partly uh, luck and partly our efforts in reaching out to each individuals that help us in building our uh, business better. Great. Uh, thank you very much. And I would say that uh, sounds also quite uh, encouraging. Uh, I would suggest to start getting a bit uh, deeper into your, let's say, process of getting into new partnerships uh, with uh, uh, suppliers. So uh, let's start uh, figuring out a few, uh, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, types of uh, uh, companies we are have uh, among the audience. So let's take companies that already have uh, an established presence in uh, India. Uh, maybe they uh, work with uh, other uh, uh, partners uh, such as Sriram. What would be, let's say, uh, the process uh, you uh, follow for them to be uh, empaneled with uh, Sriram as a supplier? Uh, see, uh, the, if at all, um, I, I come across a few of the uh, uh, Italian manufacturers and suppliers. Uh, we we broadly have. A good uh, relationship with the uh, Piaggio, three-wheeler manufacturer. Uh, um, all our three-wheeler uh, three funding in India, uh, nearly 50% of the market share through us, uh, whatever we fund, 50% is to, uh, uh, Piaggio vehicles. So we have that 500 financiers and who lend to the last mile uh, operators. And uh, we have extra, uh, very good reach, I should say, uh, uh, we have around 300,000 customers in uh, that uh, category. Then we have another category in the construction equipment, especially tippers. Hiva tipper is one of the popular uh, uh, tipping solution in India. And many of our customers are having uh, Hiva tippers as a preferred tipper. So we also are funding 10% uh, additional amount if somebody is preferring a uh, Hiva tipper because Hiva tipper is uh, supposed to be a better uh, having a, uh, better resale value and earning capacity uh, on the Hiva tipper seems to be much better. So that is the kind of relations broadly in these two I can identify. Rest of the others I would uh, probably will build the relationship uh, as we go along as we get introduced to them. Good. Okay, so I guess uh, these would also be uh, good uh, uh, to uh, further explore in the B2Bs to get on a, let's say, case-by-case case, uh, situation. Uh, talking about still about your, your scope of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, um, let's say, supplies uh, and uh, procurement, uh, uh, do you also, uh, and what kind of service do you provide to your customers, warranty, repairs, uh, spare parts, uh, uh, how exactly does that part of the business uh, work and how may uh, uh, Italian companies be uh, involved in this? We do provide a service like a working capital requirement for a repairing of a vehicle, buying of a tires uh, and we have also have a special arrangement with uh, fuel companies for fueling the vehicle. So these are all the arrangements we have and we also provide insurance service. We have our in-house insurance company. We, uh, uh, we are the fastest claim providers in India. We on an average, we provide a claim uh, in 20 days, wherein average Indian insurance claim takes around 150 days. So to the extent we have brought a lot of efficiency in the claims management. So this, these are the extra benefit our customer get uh, when they are uh, our customers. Excellent. And uh, OK, that's uh, I think we we answered. This is one of the questions that came from uh, uh, from our audience and I would say uh, and uh, uh, invite again uh, the companies uh, in the audience if you have specific uh, uh, questions. I will keep uh, putting the ones we already received, but please uh, go uh, ahead. Uh, let me just uh, get into uh, another example. I mean, uh, let's take uh, the uh, um, uh, uh, profile of Italian companies that are at a relatively early stage in uh, uh, establishing their brand 
and uh, their positioning in the Indian market. Uh, do you work together making joint efforts to market uh, uh, their products to your end customers, uh, uh, borrowers? And if so, uh, what kind of uh, uh, activities uh, do you uh, jointly uh, do? Uh, we have done in the past uh, some joint uh, programs uh, with the Piaggio we have done extensively for we have relationship with Piaggio goes back to nearly 15 years now. Uh, we have done some joint programs across the country. Uh, with, we have done a few of the joint programs with uh, Hiva Tippers also uh, not in the uh, immediate uh, zone, in the much earlier, maybe around six, seven years back. Uh, but we are willing to partner uh, with uh, any of the manufacturer if they want to promote their products. We also have uh, something called Automall, wherein uh, we do uh, do exchange of vehicles, and uh, that is the platform available even for new vehicle, if they want to demonstrate uh, their vehicle and display the vehicle for uh, general public. So uh, we can undertake that and uh, probably that is uh, what we can offer on uh, today. Excellent. OK, thank you very much. Um, I, I have another question uh, uh, which uh, we, we just received. Uh, so uh, India is a, a pretty a uh, vast country and uh, uh, the uh, company in the audience asked, would you be able to guide us on, let's say, how to enter the market in, this is, a, I guess, a, co uh, um, a company which doesn't have a big experience yet in the, uh, in, the um, in India. So uh, some tips about how to enter the market and also especially which region or state to begin with just, you know, to go step by step. I mean, what would be uh, regions or states in which uh, you would actually invest uh, at the moment? Uh, would you be on the other side uh, uh, selling uh, construction equipment? Uh, yeah, no, we can always uh, partner with them. And uh, I feel uh, India, the uh, Maharashtra is the gateway and where you can enter uh, and we can help uh, 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 the uh, customers to get in uh, Maharashtra and uh, uh, start any kind of uh, a new product launch. Plus, uh, there are another uh, state which is quite uh, uh, which is quite progressive, that is Tamil Nadu. So we can, uh, uh, depending upon the, the individual product, where the requirement is there, whether it is a mining product, whether it is a, a port handling product, whether it is a agricultural equipment, depending upon that, we can choose and pick the, the state or we can uh, jointly promote uh, the product uh, of, uh, in these geographies. Excellent. OK, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have another question. Uh, some of the Italian SMEs uh, actually uh, work in uh, a machinery which is both for let's say the construction sector and more in the agricultural uh, equipment and they read about uh, your uh, let's say business also for agricultural machinery so it would be good just to uh, maybe to tackle this uh, question and understand whether uh, this is uh, uh, a priority if it will be again a priority and just to have your view on the sector as well. Yes, yes. Uh, any specific, we can talk to them. OK, so you would be uh, open and interested also in, yes. uh, in this uh, uh, sector. OK, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I would just uh, take a, a, a brief uh, um, a break, um, waiting for some more questions. Let me just see. Uh, 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 no, just uh, uh, sorry. Hi, I Please. just like to ask uh, Prag sir to probably mention about, uh, you know, the uh, auto mall business that you have, uh, how you, uh, I think, auction of vehicles as well to promote their resale. Uh, it's an online platform, if I'm not mistaken, as well. I mean, where the person gather, people gather together. So if you could just uh, touch upon that a little more, uh, how that works. The auto mall is a uh, 
uh, online and offline. Both models are available in auto mall. We have 92 auto malls across country. And uh, all the it is not restricted to vehicles, construction equipment, farm equipments, anything and anything which is uh, the need of the customers. Sellers can display their vehicle and buyers can uh, bid for those uh, assets. It is not restricted to vehicles. And uh, we started with the physical uh, uh, model only. Now we have uh, entered into a JV with a tech company. So it is both online and offline. And one, one of its kind of a model, all the uh, uh, financiers, all banks participate for their repossess assets, the assets in their custody to be sold through Shiram Automotive. Even individuals display their uh, assets and through a bidding process, uh, the assets get uh, uh, sold. Uh, one of its kind of uh, operation in the country. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Gautam, in the meantime, uh, we received one more question. Do you want to uh, go ahead with that one? Um, yeah, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, Paraksar, in terms of the reach, uh, if you could just uh, mention uh, uh, as far as commercial vehicles are concerned and in terms of, um, I would say, the rest of the segment that is there, if you could just give a little bit about your uh, reach across India uh, through your stores and how is uh, it that Probably, you know, as you may, uh, as as I understand, there there are product heads that you would have as well who would specialize in a particular kind of uh, equipment or commercial vehicle who can guide. So a little bit of that also would really help uh, the audience understand uh, what kind of expertise uh, Shriram has to offer. Okay, as mentioned, we have uh, thousand seven hundred and thirty eight branches and another eight hundred odd rural centers totally around uh, 2500 locations from where we run our operations and uh, these branches are not any product specific whatever is in need in a particular territory will be catered to by a branch so supposing uh, the as sir was mentioning whether the port uh, activity or a mining activity or an agricultural activity in an uh, location everything will be catered by the branch so branch will have people who understands the local businesses, local needs and local customers uh, need and they fund. So they will not be looking at uh, a particular asset uh, category only. Any kind of asset category which is of need of a particular geography will be catered to. Newer products we will have to uh, evaluate first. The evaluation piece is done at the head office whether the product uh, will be uh, having a good resale. Uh, it will be uh, nothing where we can have any kind of uh, uh, buyback uh, difficulties. Uh, resale price uh, will not be uh, a, a hindrance. So all those products will be cleared at uh, either head office or zonal offices, and then those products get uh, funded uh, at the branches. So branch will look at the potential of a particular location, the kind of assets which are needed by a particular uh, by the customers and everything will be funded. Um, Gautam, uh, we received a question which has partly been uh, answered, but uh, it is more a drill down regarding the uh, finance structure underlying, uh, in, let's say, your uh, construction equipment sector. So. Uh, summarizing the procuring process. Okay, we have partly been addressing this, uh, the loan or lease agreement, the tenor, the benchmark interest rates, down payment requirements. So try to give a bit more details on how, uh, uh, let's say that the, the single transaction is structured. Okay, when it comes to uh, a new equipment, normally we'll be funding 75% of the value of an uh, asset. 25% uh, has to be down payment. A typical tenor, depending upon the ticket size, can go anywhere between uh, three to five years. And in case of a uh, very large equipment or construction equipment, it can even go to six to seven years. 
depending upon the ticket size. Down payment, as I mentioned, and interest rates, uh, it will be competitive. It will be competitive to any other uh, uh, financial in the country. Excellent. And uh, do you request any uh, guarantees uh, uh, to uh, vendors? Um, guarantees for the okay for the borrower we do take uh, some guarantors but to the vendors whether we take guarantees we don't take any guarantees okay thank you very much um sir okay. uh, just one question from my side Please. actually so uh, uh, if uh, the uh, companies uh, want to reach out to shiram to discuss yes we are having b2b's with some of them today um how is uh, or what is the best way in which they can reach out to uh, to to take discussions forward probably you know over the next uh, few months uh, to to not only present their product and see what best can be done in partnership with uh, shriram may i just jump in gautam and uh, sorry uh, mr sharma i just wanted to point out uh, we will uh, uh, we put it also in the uh, uh, invitation we have uh, a dedicated B2B session. I'm also answering to some of our uh, guests who were asking for this. So we have a session on uh, the following uh, Monday, the 8th of February. So uh, companies who haven't requested a B2B yet uh, can uh, use uh, this opportunity as a first uh, uh, contact uh, with uh, uh, our uh, friends of Shriram, but uh, sorry, uh, I, I mean, this will just be the first step. So I think uh, Gautam was also asking about uh, how this could develop afterwards. Okay, to address uh, Gautam's question, uh, Gautam, you can directly contact uh, our head office. So there will be a business team which will go and understand a particular asset category or equipment, whatever it is and then run it through as i was mentioning a joint marketing process through our auto mall to our branch network and based on customer interest we'll be happy to uh, provide any kind of funding requirement they have thank you sir excellent um i would suggest one thing i mean uh, since uh, also our guests uh, had uh, quite a few details from you uh, let us uh, just allow them uh, to digest them and give some more time to uh, uh, think about more questions they may have. Uh, I'm just uh, we thought it would be uh, good to devote uh, just uh, a few minutes uh, just to highlight uh, uh, how uh, we also as such can uh, uh, support uh, uh, Italian companies, mainly SMEs, in uh, working uh, with uh, Shriram, but also more in general in India. Uh, and uh, in uh, other countries. As uh, um, uh, Gautam uh, was uh, mentioning, um, um, I'm trying in the meantime to share my screen. I think you are seeing this, right? So I just thought just very quickly, most of the companies that are attending today uh, know us uh, uh, pretty well, but uh, I think that some other companies may not have a clear visibility. We have been established for more than 40 years. Uh, we were established as the Italian Export Credit Agency, but uh, let's say that uh, we've had um, quite a long way since then. And uh, we just wanted to highlight, first of all, the scale and scope of, uh, uh, of uh, our activities. Uh, in the first half of 2020 alone, we deployed resources in excess of uh, 10 billion euro. And the second key message we were just keen to deliver is that we work a lot with uh, with SMEs, more than 23,000 Italian companies uh, uh, are, let's say, our customers. We cover risks in uh, almost virtually every country, even in uh, the so-called different ones. Uh, the, the exceptions are really, you know, a handful. Uh, we have been working uh, a lot to grow in this uh, uh, activity for SMEs. I mean, uh, um, roughly uh, less than 20 years ago, uh, uh, Sarcher was a, a, a public entity based in Rome, and if you needed uh, support from Sarcher, <laughs> you would probably need to come to Rome. 
we've come a very, very long way. Today, we have an international network, we have a domestic network, I will get back to that. Uh, we have invested heavily in uh, digitalization and simplification. Those of you who do not know us, just to give you an idea, I mean, we are no Amazon yet, but let's say that if you want to uh, just have a first look about how much it would cost to cover a specific risk in a specific country for uh, a, a certain tenor, you can have an immediate indication of what the pricing may be. And this is, uh, I think, uh, very useful for you when you start also, you know, uh, making your evaluation attached to any negotiation. Third way uh, uh, we have been investing heavily in the SME sector is the opportunities you see today. We try to use our uh, finance also as a mean to provide new opportunities to Italian companies. We have been doing this for uh, for three years now and uh, I must say we have reached many sectors, many countries. I will not get into details on this. And last but not least, we have, let's say, uh, invested heavily also in helping not on not only companies that are already established exporters, but also those who are, uh, let's say, uh, in their development stage or in the export and internationalization process as a whole or in a specific country. We work also pretty well with our economics uh, department. Just for your information, we published a few months ago a nice report on India. You can find it on our website. So certainly those of you who are let's say not uh, uh, in the in this market yet may have uh, uh, certainly a, a good look at this. Uh, this was the, the network uh, of our uh, offices I mentioned just before. Uh, if you are uh, somewhere close to Brescia, you don't need uh, even to go to Milan because you have your office in Brescia. We have quite a, a, a good uh, a, and widespread presence both in Italy and regarding international network, we are basically uh, present in all the countries, in all the regions where such a support is typically uh, uh, more needed. So in uh, uh, large growing uh, countries such for example as uh, India where we have been working on a lot of uh, uh, big and uh, very interesting uh, uh, um, uh, transactions to support Italian business. And regarding what we do, I will really not get into detail on this. It is just to give you a flavor. Many of you know us maybe for a couple of products, but let's say that together with uh, uh, Seamest, we have a, a pretty broad uh, 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 product offering which ranges from the early stage in the discovering of new markets and counterparts. Uh, we have uh, um, a number of uh, solutions to uh, have access uh, to uh, liquidity and financing, uh, issuing of contractual guarantees and of course credit insurance and at the end of the uh, process on one side credit recoveries and for the companies which is pretty much the case also in this kind of business the companies that end up investing in either commercial or production facilities abroad we can be uh, of help there as well so uh, this is really something that would take pretty long but I just wanted to highlight it and uh, um, I will not get too uh, deep into details we just also wanted to uh, uh, deliver the message that these products you have just seen, uh, this is a typical credit insurance uh, uh, scheme uh, which applies pretty often also in the construction and commercial vehicles equipment. We uh, provide so uh, uh, cover against non-payment for political and commercial risk but also in the case of production risk where uh, maybe the production is more tailor-made and you have the risk that at some point uh, the uh, um, order uh, is uh, not uh, being uh, completed. And last but not least, as I was mentioning, I mean, uh, we uh, work uh, on supporting, let's say, access to liquidity and financing. We do this, many of you know it, with uh, Siemens, especially last year, uh, we had some uh, uh, extraordinary uh, um, uh, conditions uh, to support uh, Italian uh, SMEs in the pandemic, but uh, we also have uh, the possibility to work together with banks to enhance, let's say, the, our uh, capability, let's say the capability of banks to finance you and your growth and internationalization by getting the support from Sace and jointly taking the risk on, uh, on the SME to be able to finance more. So this is just to give you a very, very quick uh, snapshot. I didn't want to get any further, but the message is 
uh, um, feel free to contact us. Those of you, I mean, many of you already have a, a, an established relation with one of our uh, over 60 account managers, which are uh, uh, spread across uh, uh, Italy. Uh, so if you don't have a, a reference point yet, feel free to uh, contact us. And of course, for uh, business in India, uh, uh, we will provide you also with the context of Gautam, very accessible, very approachable. I mean, don't uh, miss this opportunity, okay? So uh, we're just happy to, uh, uh, to uh, make this brief uh, uh, recap. Uh, Gautam, did I miss anything? No, absolutely not, Luca. I mean, this is uh, great. I think uh, it was a wonderful opportunity where we have uh, Italian exporters, small, medium. We have an entity in India, which is Sriram, which can actually promote and sort of, I would say, because we did the push facility, push more and more Italian products through their pipeline to their end consumers. And uh, at the third end, we have Sache, which is always there to bridge the gap between uh, Rome, uh, I mean, Italy and India. So I uh, again reiterate to our audience that reach out to us, uh, let us know what you have in mind, what you want to do, and we'll be more than happy to promote or uh, guide you to the right uh, people within India and uh, to, to, uh, across uh, the region if, if you guys um, want to expand further into, say, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka as well. So our office remains available. Uh, reach out to us anytime and we will be there to support. Thank you. Excellent. Well, uh, I don't know also if uh, in turn uh, uh, our uh, friends of Sriram have some uh, uh, questions. We uh, shared with them uh, in advance uh, uh, also a snapshot of uh, the companies they were uh, meeting today. I don't know if, uh, if there's anything on your side uh, you would like uh, uh, to share uh, before we uh, go towards the wrap up. And uh, I also give uh, uh, a final call for other questions the companies uh, uh, may have, uh, which are among the audience, please. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, we, uh, we, we are definitely uh, looking forward to work with uh, uh, companies, uh, Italian based uh, manufacturers or suppliers, uh, and get to introduce to them, understand their product and help them in launching into India. Uh, so the, any opportunity, any platform to be created, any joint promotion, we are very happy to do that. So I would like to work with uh, each individual uh, manufacturers uh, and uh, the, uh, the uh, suppliers here and uh, uh, probably uh, we, our team is always ready and uh, uh, we can uh, work together to uh, uh, support, promote and finance. Super, well, thank you very much. Then uh, I would say that we have the, uh, uh, the thank yous on one side and the what's next, uh, which are my uh, final duties. So first of all, uh, the thank yous. I would like to uh, thank uh, you for being here today. Uh, we, with our push strategy, uh, we enter what we see as a long-term uh, path to uh, foster cooperation. So this is the first opportunity we have to meet. Uh, I'm sure we will have other ones uh, and uh, that this, I mean, we see as, as, a, as a way to initiate business. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, and I would also like uh, to thank uh, the colleagues of Sacha, both the business promotion team who have been setting up uh, uh, this uh, initiative and our Mumbai office and the companies that are attending. Uh, we uh, value your time. As you could see, we like this very slim uh, uh, agenda, uh, no uh, uh, strings attached, very business oriented. Uh, we wanted to establish the connection. We're fairly confident we did. Uh, and uh, uh, so we value your time and we hope we made uh, a best use of it. And let me just also grab the chance to thank a couple of friends of uh, 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 of uh, trade associations which are uh, online as well. Uh, we work uh, closely with them also to uh, try to uh, get a maximum reach uh, uh, for uh, let's say on the Italian supplier side. So we will certainly have the opportunity to get back with them as well. What's next? We have a, a session uh, open for B2B meetings on uh, February the 8th a uh, morning uh, Italian time. So uh, you will receive shortly, uh, uh, you uh, audience, uh, a mail with uh, the presentations we share today, 
with the contact details and those of you who did not request a B2B yet and are interested uh, to do so, you can write to us to the uh, email address you uh, saw in the uh, um, uh, invitation, businesspromotion at sacha.it and uh, we will be more than happy to uh, accommodate uh, all requests. So uh, I think it is time to uh, uh, close this meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, Umesh and Parag. Thank you Gautam and uh, uh, see you uh, for the B2B meetings. Thank you very much Thank you. and have a nice day. Yeah, Ciao tutti.